Pushing myself from the ground, I felt hollow inside, unfocused, as if I was waking for the first time. Struggling to my feet, I was greeted by a strange sensation of pain. It felt like my entire body was on fire, but at the same time, I felt cold. The chill of death. It was something I had never experienced before, but somehow, I recognized it. In that moment, I could feel my life slipping away. I had no idea how I got there, or why I felt the way I did. I only knew that I had to stand if I wanted to survive. Johnny boy. Hey. Johnny boy. I'm a little lost. You think you could help me out? He didn't deserve all that. He didn't deserve what you did to him, all right? The way you left him back there. You took it too far, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Johnny boy. I'm about to fuck you up, man. I'm about to bury you right here in this alley. You hear me? You're fucking done. You're fucking done, man.
Look, fellas, all I want are directions. That's it. And then I'll be on my way. This restaurant? I know this place. Have I been here before? Away from me. Hey, what's going on over there? What the hell are you? You just crippled that man. This isn't real. It can't be. Come on, it's over. It's over, man. I remember killing this man. Not that he deserved it, but because I wanted to kill him. I remember enjoying it. I could feel something calling me. It wasn't a voice exactly. It was more like a feeling, as if I was meant to do something. Something I had already done. No. No.
There are bloodstains on the floor. The trail leads to this room. You fucking smell that? There's a dead body in there, for sure. Damn, it looks like someone took a knife to these walls. This table has scratches all over it. What could have done this? This place should be abandoned, but from the looks of it, someone's been living here.
Just knuckle hit it, back stabbing, no so hit it. No way there ain't no saving me. Boy, I be too, be too selfish within my method. My tunnel vision so irreverent. Why would anybody be my face? Hey, 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 you got me red headed, causing bad habit. I'm that headed with a bad habit. Got no self control. Oh, Lord. Boy, I be that, be that bad headed with them bad matters. Bad habit, causing bad panic. Would you say my soul is your retention? Your foot. Flesh only seems to destroy, see defeat with my ego deployed. May the deeds with a seas be devoid. Penalty of me fleeing his joy. Happen me when to cling to the Lord. Other half when he bring in the ball with the path with the pain that's in store. Finna bring when I bust to the floor, man. I'm calling to. Everybody's trying to stimulate it There's butters in the mirror and things can be right Back to the scene of a Friday night To the blessed collision, still frozen time Spill drinkers, cupid in the sun, a perfect shine And why did you argue? Dreaming of those eyes Best part of my life And when we make love, babe The world don't make a sound The clock won't turn around Up again when the chance to chase feels like we're playing space. You always find a way to make up right, even when we're such a fly. Even when things just run out, you gotta soften up your sleeves, girl. I'm never enough, babe. I'm dreaming of those eyes. Time seemed to slow down as I pulled into the station. There was a feeling in the back of my mind. An unfamiliar feeling I couldn't help but drown in. It was fear. Even sitting there, I was afraid. In truth, I couldn't understand why I left in the first place, or why I woke up in that apartment like I did. I was afraid. Because I abandoned the city I grew up in and betrayed everyone who once depended on me. But I couldn't remember why. Burying my fear, I refocused on what I had to do.
Got any spare change? Thanks, brother. The streets in this city are dirty, with crime and corruption. There's not a day that goes by without people turning on one another, hurting their neighbors, just to survive. Thieves, vagrants, hooks, and con artists walk the streets, fouling them up for normal, honest people. They'd burn this city down, if there wasn't some form of higher power keeping them in check. Rain was always welcome. You could count on it to keep the streets clean. Well, most of the time. The year was 2018. I'd been gone for eight years. Eight years I'd never get back. What the hell have I been doing all this time? Fuck, I couldn't remember.
Hey, man. Where to, buddy? 159 Cypher Avenue. All right. Get in. After I left the apartment, I managed to make contact with an old friend of mine. We grew up together, and he had my back more times than I cared to keep track of. After all the shit we used to get into, we became brothers, bound by the blood we spilt. Let's just hope he hasn't changed up since then. Hey, bruh. You got a dollar? That's all you got for me? So I told the guy, if you plan on hitting the plaza, then you'd better stick to the rules. Cause the girls up north, they don't play around. Hey, never seen you around here before. You lost or what? Just here to see an old friend. Why? What's it to you? Easy now. I'm only looking out for my neighbors. There's a lot of dangerous folks around these parts. But not me. I'm as neutral as they come. Know what I mean? What building is this? 159 Cypher Avenue. Your friend got a name? Maybe I can lead you in the right direction. Jimmy. You know him? You know Jimmy? You're not gonna hurt him, are ya? Like I said, old friends. Alright, I trust ya. Room 10, fourth floor. But you didn't hear it from me. Oh, 
Ahem. Before you leave, can I interest you in some of our wares? Staring at the door before me, it reminded me of the dream I had earlier. Or was it a memory? Tomorrow. I ain't got the money right now. John? Is that you? Holy shit, it is you. Holy motherfucking shit. Damn, brother. You look like a straight up bum. We can't all have it as good as you, Jimmy. What is this? A five-star hotel? You must get all kinds of play up in here. Don't you worry, John. They'll believe whatever I tell them, if I pay them enough. It's good to see you, Jimmy. Likewise, brother. What do you want to drink, John? I got plenty of water on tap. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I got what you need, don't worry. You all right, John? You really do look like shit, you know. I'm fine. I'm getting old as all. Everything fucking hurts. Mmm. Fucking everything. I hear ya. I got something stronger than that, if you're interested. You know I don't touch that stuff. Maybe you should stop, too. Why, so I can look like you? Shit. I'll take my chances. Tell me, or what? It's been eight years, John. Eight fucking years. Where the fuck have you been, man? I don't remember. What the fuck are you talking about? Did you forget about me and Nathan? About Sarah? What? You couldn't make a fucking phone call? It's hard to explain, Jimmy. One minute I'm here, and the next I'm somewhere else. Eight years later, 
I can't tell you where all the time went. My head hurts just thinking about it. Sounds like you need a fucking doctor. Either way, I'm glad you're back, John. It hasn't been the same around here without you. How's Sarah doing? Your little golden girl? She's changed since you've been gone. The city will do that to you. Kinda sad, if you ask me. Is she alright? Where is she? Easy, John. She's fine. Your little golden girl's all grown up. She can take care of herself now, so don't worry. You can find her at the Bella Notte. Tony owns the place now. Crazy, huh? How's Nathan doing? Uh, Nathan hasn't been right for a long time. You remember how he changed before you left, right? Well, he's ten times worse now. Doesn't even leave the house anymore. Business is good, though, thanks to Tony. So what's up with you? I'm tired, John. What more can I say? Times are too different from how they used to be. Why are you living in a place like this? You spend all that money already? The money's done and gone. Damn shame, to be honest. I sure could use some of that right now. Why don't you talk to Nathan? I'm sure he'll spot you. Is it Nathan still on top? You know I'm too proud for that. Besides, me and Nathan don't talk too much anymore. We got into it after you left. Words were said, and threats were made. Fuck. What happened? I'll let Nathan be the one to tell you. He owes you that much. Fine. Whatever you say, Jimmy. John? I just need a couple of hours. I'm so tired, Jimmy. Not a problem. Get some rest, brother.
I highly recommend that you subscribe because I have some awesome gaming content coming soon that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching.